We're back now. Time for today's food. And this morning, we are firing up the grill for flank steak. If you are looking for a sure to please and good for you dinner, we've got a menu that your guests are going to love. You will too. Culinary instructor Pamela Salzman is the author of the new cookbook, Kitchen Matters. Pamela, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Happy this, summer. This is simple and delicious mm -hmm. and good for you. Yep. And I love the ingredient grid. Oh, super easy. I mean, all we're working with is some flank steak. Garlic, olive oil, balsamic, some thyme, salt and pepper. Really okay. easy. All right, so here's our, our piece of flank steak. So what we're first going to do, what's interesting about this dish, is that we're going to do something called a post marinade. Okay. And all we have here is some balsamic. We're going to add in some olive oil. Yep. And this is just going to add flavor after the dish. And it's really, really easy. Some garlic mm -hmm. and a pinch of salt. And we can whisk that up. You okay. want to do that? Yes, I will. Go ahead. So we're going to whisk that up. And we're just going to set that off to the side. And after the flank steak is cooked, we're going to put that on. It just okay. adds great flavor. So then what are we putting on the flank so steak now before, before we grill? So before we grill, we're just going to add some black pepper. Mm -hmm. And that marinade then smells some good. fresh thyme, and you can okay. just sprinkle that on. All right. As do you, you do want. both sides? I'm just going to do one side okay. right now. Let me go. Yeah, and you can do this four hours ahead. You could do it overnight. Cover it. Stick it in the refrigerator, and then this has been pre-seasoned. All right. So all we need to do right now is just brush this with a little olive oil. So you left this overnight. Yes. Okay. This is going to be left overnight, and this one's already been done. Mm -hmm. So brush it with olive oil so it doesn't stick. Yeah. And then we have to hit it with some salt. Usually. I do about a half a teaspoon per pound or yep. so. This is just kosher salt. Got it. And this has been preheated, so. And we want a hot pit. By the way, our tasters yeah. are over there. Oh, are you guys tasting oh, it already? Yeah. What do you think? Really good. Delish. Great. Steak right. at, you know, 8.40 in the morning. Do you have any tricks for knowing that your pan is hot enough? Besides so, what I would do, which is just put my hand well, on it? Well, actually, putting your hand about five inches from it, okay. if it feels hot after about five seconds and you have to take it away, then it's hot. That's a good hot If you're pan. hanging out here, like, all day, not hot enough. Okay, right? great. Three to four minutes on each side for, like, medium. Right. I like to use grass-fed steak, so sometimes that cooks a little quickly. Hmm. So you just have to be careful not to overcook it. Okay. This one's already done. So we're going to take this off, put it on your platter. Yes. Now yeah. we're going to take our post now marinade. Our marinade. Yeah, the post marinade. Drizzle this on while the steak is nice and warm. It looks beautiful. Why and do you do your marinade after, by the way? Well, sometimes I forget. But well, also okay. with grass-fed, you know, with grass-fed meat, sometimes it can get a little dry mm -hmm. and tough, and this can just really ensure that you're going to get a lot of flavor. It's easy. Cover this. We want meat to rest for like five or ten minutes because you want those juices to redistribute. Yeah. After it's been resting, now we have to cut. Now, you can see the grain in the meat, and yes. it's very tempting to cut with the grain, but we are not going to do that because that is a rookie move. Okay. Okay? We are going to cut against the grain. Are you guys following this? Yeah, you know, okay. You know this. You know this. Rookie move. Yes, please. Rookies here. Super, super key to cut against the grain, so nice and thinly. So what, if you, what if you cut with the grain? Well, if you cut with the grain, it's going to be too chewy. Too chewy. Got too it. Too chewy. Okay. okay. So, we got that over there, and you guys are enjoying that. Yes. Love it. We're going to move on to our next dish. These actually go really well together. In fact, I think putting this flank on a bed of arugula, serving it with the eggplant, meal done. Yeah. Right? Lovely. Super easy. We've got some eggplant here, which is such a great summer vegetable. So great on the grill, smoky. I like to sweat them out a little bit first. What does that mean? Because what you're going to do is put a little bit of salt on top, mm -hmm. and the eggplant actually starts to sweat. The salt pulls moisture out, okay. you get some of that bitterness out, yeah. and then it also softens them up a little bit. Okay. 30 minutes, once you start to see that beading on top, yeah. you can either rinse them off in the sink or just wipe them with a paper towel. You mean you just put salt on and they start sweating? Totally. It's like a miracle. <laughs> I know some people like that. <laughs> okay. Don't do it at home. Yeah. Do yourself. Okay, so these have already been sweated out, wiped yeah. clean. Brush with olive oil. Don't drizzle with olive oil mm -hmm. because the eggplant is just going to soak up the oil. Uh, so you want to just do it on both sides all right. like this. And then you've you got your same grill pan. Same grill pan. And you can just hit it with some salt and pepper. All right. And then you can just take these, put them on. Yep. So the key here, no more than half an inch thick. Okay. Quarter inch to half an How inch. How do you like the eggplant, everybody? We're, you all, tried it? we're all doing really well. Yeah, we okay. are. So, I mean, it. it's really easy to keep eggplant like soggy and like yeah. not soggy, like spongy and yes. tough. And that makes me want to cry because it's so delicious. It can be so delicious. And then delicious. tell me real quick because you have yeah. some accoutrement yes, for the yes, top. Yes. After it comes off, cover it with foil. This is the key stuff. All right. Because this will keep them nice and soft. Then what we've done here is we've drizzled this with pomegranate molasses, which is pomegranate Yum. juice that's been like reduced. If you don't have pomegranate molasses, just use an aged balsamic. Okay. It's just as easy. Some toasted pine nuts, 
feta, mint, and if you don't have pine nuts, use pistachios. I sometimes love they it. can be expensive. A little crunch there. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pamela. Okay. Great Thank job. You. We've got the you. recipes from our Kitchen Matters cookbook on our website, today.com slash food, so check it out. We're Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.